Hey everybody, it's your little big sis, Danica Marie, and welcome back to our Dope Discussions. Now, this is gonna be a quick little conversation that I just want to highlight briefly because I feel like it is important to say, right? So last night, we had a dope discussion talking about Tyrese's current situation regarding his divorce. And during that live stream, I asked the question of, why did Tyrese's ex-wife file for divorce, right? So this morning I received an email with somebody informing me that she filed for divorce due to him working too much. Now, the reason why this personally pisses me off is because we live in this time, right? To where you have all of these women demanding that men be able to provide, take good care of them and children, give them stability and security, freedoms, all of which, right, requires for a man to have to work. Again, I just don't think that we truly understand this hole, this grave that we are digging for ourselves and our families and our, you know, relationships, futures. I, I, don't, I don't think that we truly understand what we're doing, how we're self-sabotaging in this regard, because look at the hypocrisy. We tell men we want one thing, then we punish them and condemn them for doing the necessary work in order to give us the things that we said that we need for them to provide for us. More and more, we are making men turn their backs and say, you know what? These females don't know what the hell that they want. Like, these women will tell you that they want a man that is going to give them X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C, right? Then when a man goes out to give her X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C, she'll turn around and say, well, I don't like the fact that you didn't give me one, two, and three. And it's like, what the hell? The men cannot win for losing. And overall, this is just sending the entirely wrong message. This is sending the message to men that we are ungrateful. We are disloyal. We do not appreciate the things that they are contributing. And what makes it even worse is the things that they are contributing are the very things that we ask for. And another major piece to this conversation are the children. Are we thinking about how this could majorly impact them mentally, emotionally, Hell, even physically. Do we think about how us divorcing over very selfish, superficial, and highly hypocritical reasons will place them in very compromising positions? Are we thinking about how they feel, what they're going through? Or is it all about you and how you feel and what you feel that you deserve and what you feel that you need? And we'll destroy everything if it means that I get to live my best life. If it means that I get to have some kind of happiness. I get to feel good. Forget you. Forget the kids. Forget the family. It's all about me. This is the wrong message. And I hate this because at the end of the day, we are essentially telling the men that are giving us what we said that we needed for them to give us, that their work is in vain. Their sacrifice is in vain. Everything that they do to please us is in vain. So why even do it anyway? We got to clean this up because I'm telling y'all the route that we're going down is the wrong one. We are self-destructing at this point. 
We are self-sabotaging at this point. And we are painting the wrong picture. We're giving men the idea of, hey, it doesn't matter how great of a man that you are. It doesn't matter what you try to do to please these women. It doesn't matter how much you sacrifice. It don't mean nothing. If the woman says that it does not mean anything. But that's just something quick for you guys to think about. Uh, y'all leave y'all comments and thoughts down below and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Be sure to like the video, share the video and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Peace.